thoughts in there, Joseph? <laughs> Joe Elliott from McNally Smith College Music with Greg Cock, artist in residence here for our guitar program. We're talking about vibrato. A little bit. We were messing around there, a little blues in the key of C, perhaps the most vibrant of all the keys, Joe. Here we go. And uh, vibrato is, of course, something we can get into on a, um, well, quite a, a prolonged educational format. But uh, just to give you a little bit of snippets, I, I kind of threw in a bunch of different vibratos in there for your listening and dining pleasure. And, um, it, you know, that's one of the main things I love about playing guitar. What attracted me to playing electric guitar specifically was that all my favorite players would have this glorious vibrato. Uh, uh, initially, I would listen to Hendrix. Um, there's a live version of Red House he did on Hendrix in the West, which was an old vinyl offering that is just sublime. It's got clean, kind of a cleaner tone and just a beautiful vibrato that I would try to emulate. Uh, Johnny Winter has one of my favorite vibratos, and especially when he played on the Muddy Waters records, um, he would utilize kind of a clean tone with his beautiful vibrato. Cream era, Eric Clapton, certainly B.B. King, Live at the Regal, and that Live Blues is King record, fantastic example. So somewhere, and then Albert Collins, Otis Rush, all these guys are in the mix. So to just give you an example of, of um, some different things that I work on uh, vibrato-wise, obviously the B.B. King. The hardest thing about vibrato for me when I play a Telecaster versus a Les Paul and so on and so forth is not yanking the string off the, the fretboard. It's just one of those things i got to watch. Uh, but the idea of the B.B. King vibrato... It's kind of a, they call it the kind of a butterfly vibrato because your hand is kind of going like this. I kind of refer to it, for some reason I get the vision of a frog in a top hat going, hello my baby, hello my darling. Da, 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 da. I don't know why that happens, but I'm a disturbed individual. So what I'm basically doing here is I'm using the side of my first finger. So the string is kind of hitting right about there. And I'm, I'm bending the string down just a little bit. And the only contact point with the neck is the tip of the finger and this part, the fat of my index finger. And then I'm actually using my wrist to go back and forth like this, okay? Like the frog. Hello, my baby! Sorry. Anyway, so I go... The problem with that is sometimes it, it's, it gets a little too... It's, it's a little inconsistent, so you got to... You got to kind of watch it a little bit, but Clapton does more of a kind of a thing where his hand is perpendicular uh, to the string, and he actually the string is going up first, meaning towards me, as opposed to this one, which is going down first. The pitch is going up, but I'm just talking about the direction of the string. So this one's going to, to the ground when I'm doing the butterfly. When I'm doing more of the Clapton, and really the only contact point with the neck at that point is the tip of my finger. And you can make it fast. <laughs> or, I kind of like it just yang, 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 depending on what I'm doing, okay? Uh, but anyway, those are just a couple different vibratos that we can uh, talk about. But this is kind of the stuff we get into in the music interp classes once you get along here at uh, McNally Smith and yep. go into a little history of blues guys and vibratos and different techniques. And yeah, there you have it for your listening and dining pleasure. Thank you, Greg. Pleasure.